Hi, Xavier. How are you doing? Hi, Roberto. How are you doing? Very good. I'm very happy to talk with you. Things that are really, you know, we loved about it's constitutionalism. Mm -hmm. And some days ago, I see a list of professors of this important forum that is called the International Forum on the Future of Constitutionalism. And you have a lecture there. I would like you to talk a little bit about it. Yeah, well, this is more than a lecture, it's a, it's a panel um, dedicated to what we call savage constitutionalism in times of crisis in France. And this idea came um, with uh, a, in the framework of a discussion that we had between colleagues. And we saw that during the uh, sanitary crisis, at the beginning of the sanitary crisis, instead of using the usual procedures that you find into the constitution, uh, especially regarding emergency powers, there was a tendency for the executive power to grab power by using um, or setting up some new kinds of uh, um, uh, 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 powers uh, through the adoption of new statutes and uh, some emergency statutes. To give you a, a short example, in, in the French situation, uh, uh, the uh, emergency powers are uh, actually ruled by a, a, a statute dating from 1955, which could have been used uh, for the sanitary situation. It was used during uh, the terrorist attacks in 2015. It could have been used in 2020, but um, uh, the government decided to create a new regime of emergency called sanitary uh, uh, emergency. And um, with, with a, a number of colleagues, we, we wondered why uh, the government was not using the usual procedure. And we, we went to the conclusion that once there is a situation of emergency, once there is a situation of crisis, there is a tendency, uh, at least in France, uh, to um, for, for the government to use uh, unusual uh, types of procedure just to make sure that they could act quickly, but also uh, without the boundaries, the usual boundaries of the constitution. So what is very interesting in, in this debate is that usually the government uh, doesn't say that they act out of the constitution. They use even some uh, features of the constitution to justify the derogation are, uh, that they, they, they will use to uh, uh, make uh, their, their own decision. With the result that parliament and uh, the judiciary uh, will be out of the scope of the decision that are made. Or more exactly, parliament will abide by the decisions made by uh, the government. There will be a kind of uh, authorization given, by, given by, by parliament, but with very few involvement of the parliament uh, into the decision made by the government. And uh, the second idea that we, we, we wanted to, 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 to promote is that the judiciary uh, tries to keep up and to catch up um, with the, uh, the review of decisions made by, by the, the executive power. But when you look at, at the features and at the figures of the number of decisions that are uh, handled down, you just uh, see that uh, the number of uh, decisions that are crushing down, uh, decisions made by the executive are, are, are very few. Very, so the, the, the consequences of that is, is that, uh, in fact, uh, what uh, is normally made in, 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 in liberal democracy between the checks and balances between the executive power, the legislative power, and the judiciary has a tendency to be uh, reorganized in a, what we call savage manner. So th this is a, the, the, the purpose. The, the other aspect that we, we, we saw is the, um, the appearance of uh, new actors. That is to say that instead of relying on, on, on parliament or uh, instead of relying on existing institutions, constitutional institutions, uh, the tendency of the um, uh, executive power is to uh, create new bodies, uh, especially new bodies of scientists, um, on which they will rely or on which they will they, 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 they will justify uh, their their position. In other words, uh, they will uh, actually uh, uh, um, uh, um, limit 
or suspend rights and freedoms, not because they want it, but because the, the panel of scientists has said that it is dangerous, even if scientists are not agreeing between themselves. This is another issue. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, scientists have a tendency to um, enter into the decision making process uh, and uh, the uh, executive has also a tendency to say we act like this because the scientists told us that we should act, act like this. And this is, in my opinion, very dangerous uh, for, 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 for uh, rights and freedoms. I'm not saying that we, we, we cannot believe uh, or we, we shall not uh, listen to, to scientists. But uh, there is a, dis a distinction to be made between uh, the decision, uh, uh, the political decision or, or, or the legal decision itself and um, the analysis that has been, uh, that has been made by, by, by scientists. And scientists sometimes, you know, uh, are very reluctant to say, well, well we have not said that for, for making the decision. We have just made a statement on that. But the responsibility should be the responsibility on the, or, 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 um, that should rest on the executive. You see, for so sure. it's in short what, what we want to, to, to discuss and uh, really, um, really interesting and that we're talking about it in English because that you're going to be, you're going to say it in, in that will be in French. French, that will be in French. So that's why I, I, I'm not really locked by, uh, by uh, a copyright uh, or, or something like that because, well, obviously uh, we will uh, go into details, give many examples on that. Uh, but the, the, the panel will be will be in French, and um, this is for us an opportunity to 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 try to um, to think about uh, the, the consequences of um, uh, uh, emergency situation or crisis situation, because in fact uh, uh, we, we we just came to the conclusion that uh, in unusual situation uh, the tendency is to get rid of the rules. Of the game, that is to say, the constitution is stamped. What well, we, we we call that uh, uh, savage constitutionalism. Another issue that we we, we discuss, uh, but it's not it's not over. We are just at the beginning of, of the thinking. Is the uh, the tendency also of uh, authorities, and especially the executive power uh, and the parliament, in a sense, to make permanent uh, some uh, legislation that are supposed to be a temporary. Uh, in other words, they uh, will uh, justify uh, derogation or suspension of rights and freedoms uh, to protect uh, health and security. And um, instead of doing that for, for a couple of months, they do it for a couple of months. And then suddenly uh, you see uh, a new uh, bill appearing in parliament that is making permanent something which uh, was supposed to be temporary. So th this is also worrying because you can see that the, the, the protection of rights and freedoms goes down and down. And even if the situation is coming back to normal, uh, we have this impression that once you go, uh, 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 you, you, you jump over the, 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 the bridge, you will not be able to, to come back. So that's, uh, that, that's also uh, a time, uh, um, a reason why we speak about uh, savage constitutionalism. Well, that worries me a lot because coming from Venezuela, we have you know, some years that emergency is one of the instruction and one of the instruments that the government and the regime uses. And we have this uh, economic uh, emergency and we have this crime emergency and stuff. But this is a real emergency and we'll see how it's treated by governments. And we sometimes forget that constitution is an instrument of the people against the, the, the there are limits of the government and not the state and not, not on difference. And we'll see how the constitution is being used as an instrument of power. Another thing is populism. And we'll see how the constitution is being, you know, like a flag used by some regimes in order to you know promote their ideas and meanwhile it should be on the contrary to limit power do you mm -hmm. make some do you do some uh, refers to this uh, matters or only savage on the covet or populism also Yes, well, we, we are trying to, well, obviously we will have a short amount of time to, to speak of all these uh, the, the different aspects and my colleagues who speak about uh, those who are making decisions, the role of the citizen, 
we, we have seen also, um, at least in France, um, some groups of citizens reacting to that. And uh, in a sense, the freedom of expression has not been limited at all, uh, which uh, uh, allows uh, citizens or groups of citizens to criticize the government. And we have a, a, a lot of criticism at the moment against the vaccine. Uh, the fact that the vaccine is not made available to 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 many people, and that we we are we are late uh, if if we compare with other European countries, um, but all in all, what we want to show uh, through this panel is um, that there is a, a a way of thinking about the constitution outside the constitution but using the wording of the constitution. And those who are doing that are very clever because they use the same vocabulary. They uh, will repeat um, day after day, uh, even in, in, in the statute themselves, you will find some sentences that you can find in, in, in judgments, you, just to make sure that they will comply with the requirements of, uh, uh, of the case law which uh, for a, a civil law country is quite unusual. Uh, I'll give you an example, the principle of proportionality. Uh, they, they, they go and say it should be proportionate, it should be done in a manner that is compliant with rights and freedoms. But in fact, you know, these are mere words. Behind that, uh, the, 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 the review that can be exercised uh, on, 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 this, uh, on, on these rules, on these uh, statutes, uh, it is very low. The, the threshold of, of review is, is very low. And I think for, for, for the judge, it, it could be, it should be very difficult to say it's proportionate or it's disproportionate because most of the time they just have, you know, one side of the picture. But uh, it's clear that um, those who are using um, uh, this emergency power as a justification for acting uh, are using it in a very clever manner by sticking to the word uh, and the wording of the constitution. But at the same time, they do something else, you know, and they, they qualify uh, 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 a cat as, as a dog. And they say, this is a cat. It's not, but they, 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 they just say, you see, we stick to the rule. Yes. So <clears throat> this is something which is uh, also something which we will touch upon. It is. I want to ask you one thing. You and your colleagues had these uh, events regularly. I mean, have you treated this in in any activities in the university at the university? Well, we we, we have since about um, well since the beginning of the confinement, since the beginning of the sanitary crisis, um, we were not able to to gather at the university in our offices like we we usually do. So we have um, weekly meetings, um, usually uh, in the evening, where we discuss that in a, in, 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 a, in, in a free manner. And uh, this more or less came from, from these discussions we had um, together. Um, and uh, all in all, we, what we, we want to, 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 to stress on uh, through this panel is just, you know, the results of our of decision. Obviously, we discuss also that with, with students that are asking but, many questions about the but, situation. But you have it 100% in, in, in French. So you don't have it in- Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, about well, the Spanish? Uh, some, of us, some, <laughs> some of us, some of us- I would like to know if there is, there are any professors that I could talk about it, about this matters in Spanish. Some of them know Spanish, so do I can talk to them, with them? Um. Yes, probably. You, 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 well, I can actually make inquiry um, to, to know who, who is uh, sufficiently. Uh, well, there, there is at least Laurence Burgor Larsen, uh, who, who is a friend of mine, and and she she she's, she wrote a lot. She she's more an international lawyer, but she has also been a, a constitutional uh, uh, court judge in Andorra. Um, and she's fluent in, 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 in English and Spanish, so uh, I think that uh, she, she would be an ideal uh, uh, person to contact. I, I don't know if what, what, what her timetable is at the moment. Try, try but, to help um, me to contact her because I have yeah. some uh, students and of course, as you can imagine, I tell them to see these conversations and the stuff, but some of them don't speak English. So it will be a great idea to talk with some professors from France in Spanish so they can see it. 
No, I, I can forward her uh, uh, details, and then I, I'm sure that if she she is free, she she would accept it. Perfect. Really Perfect. What do you think are the main challenges of the let's call it constitutional culture during this new 20s of the 21st centuries? Well, that's a, that's something interesting, an interesting question because. Um, I do believe that at the same time, there are two um, conflicting and contradictory movements. Uh, on one hand, we have seen that uh, since the beginning of the, the, the 20th century, uh, uh, countries were, were, which were in crisis, um, sometimes a very big crisis, um, had to use uh, constitutionalism. Constitutionalism is a tool to weigh out the situation of crisis. But at the same time, I would say that constitution is also used to destroy the constitution. That is to say that there is a kind of uh, new tendency to use the constitution in a, a counter-constitutional manner, if I can say so. Uh, and um, well, constitutionalism is, is merely a tool that can help, but can also destroy uh, the spirit of the social contract. If we do be, if we consider uh, that constitutionalism is uh, represented by, by the social contract that can exist uh, uh, between members of a group uh, to, to live together in harmony and uh, with rules respecting each other, both a group and the individuals. Uh, then um, a, a number of countries have, uh, have tried to, to, to find through the constitution uh, a kind of answer to this kind of, uh, of challenge. But at the same time, uh, constitutional uh, um, constitutional uh, tools are also used by dictators. Uh, well, uh, if you read many work, Tom Ginsburg works, since, for instance, and others, um, you, you will see that uh, authoritarian uh, um, uh, states uh, are also using constitutionalism, but in a very different manner. So it, it's it's one again, um, once again, uh, a question. Um, of knowing what you put behind the words. And um, I, I, I do believe that uh, behind the words, um, th th there can be many different meanings. Uh, and sometimes we, we are talking, but not of the same thing, uh, using the same words, but not, not uh, identifying uh, the, same, the same categories. Yes, it is a whole idea of perver perverting the ideas and the concepts, democracy, mm -hmm. votes, and participation, the, 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 the idea of people, and of course, constitution is not left behind. Exactly, exactly. But uh, that, 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 that's probably a, a new challenge, you know. If we look, um, historically speaking, um, putting aside those countries which have already a constitutional uh, review or, or uh, a constitutional court, um, most of the countries during the 20th century and then, let's say uh, 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 until the, the end of the Second World War, they, the Constitution was, was simply uh, uh, an act in which you will find um, institutions and the relationship between these institutions. Uh, and there was no guarantee of rights and freedoms or very few. Sometimes, you know, it was a piece of paper that you, you were hanging on the wall but nobody will use the constitution as such. Um, the, the political regime will actually create its own constitutional rules um, by, by its working, its functioning, uh, sometimes very different from what was scheduled into the constitution, but it was working and nobody actually could claim that uh, uh, constitutional law was not constitutional law, but it, it was a big deal only for constitutional lawyers, for a few professors of law, maybe some people in, in, in parliament and in the, in the government, but, but, but it, it, that was it. After the Second World War and the, at the end of the, uh, the 20th century, we have seen this, this, this rise of constitutionalism as a protection uh, 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 of, of uh, uh, not only the institutions, the constitutional institution, but also the people. Um, and, and then it, it changed dramatically, but maybe we have been too optimistic by thinking that a constitution itself and, uh, 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 and without any, any other instruments 
would be sufficient to protect uh, rights and freedoms. I think this is uh, something on which to, to, to keep a constitutionalism uh, a living instrument. Um, and probably what is uh, can be used in a manner which is not um, made only to, uh, to, 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 to keep a kind of social contract uh, uh, at one time um, permanent uh, or in a, in a permanent manner, but using constitutionalism as a transformative tool uh, to advance the, the society. Um, which is another challenge, because in that case, you make constitutionalism a, a program. Uh, and this is something uh, obviously much more challenging, also much more rewarding, because uh, if you read, especially the preambles of the constitution, you can find that it has a programmatic aspect, but this program is usually left aside when it comes to the implementation of the constitution. I attended a few, um, um, a, a few uh, uh, constitution, con constituent processes during the, 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 the beginning of the, uh, the 21st centuries. And I've been uh, 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 struck by the, the fact that th this movement of constitutionalism was very, ve very strong, especially during the constitution making process. But after when the constitution is implemented, you can see that uh, uh, the day after, as I call it, uh, it is much more complicated and <laughs> you have to do the job. <laughs> You're, you mentioned it, a judicial review and constitutional justice. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the challenge and the behavior and how constitutional courts have acted during this emergency? Do you think uh, the, they acted properly or, or not? Or what have been the play of the constitutional justice and courts? Yeah, well, I think, well, this is a, a, a tough question in a sense. It that, is. Um, I just, well, uh, constitutional courts are faced to, to a dilemma. On one hand, uh, they, they acknowledge the, the emergency situation or, or the crisis situation. They, they cannot be blind or act blindly because the context is there. Uh, but at the same time, they remain the protection or the, the, the protective organ of the constitution. And um, the threshold that they usually uh, apply is lowering down that without discussion. But I would say that if you, you, you look at, at the, situa the, the situation in different countries, in some countries, constitutional courts um, were strong enough to say no, you, you can't go that route. You can you cannot do uh, uh, what you want. It's not a blank check that is given to you, executive power or legislative power, to do what you want. There are rules, and these rules should be respected. So the threshold is lower down, is lowering down, but at the same time, um, the uh, uh, the capacity of the court. To, to do its job uh, should remain. But in many countries, we've seen that uh, this basic idea has not, been, uh, uh, um, has not been implemented or fully implemented. So if you look at statistics, I like statistics because they don't lie. <laughs> Uh, if you have 99% of the, of the decision that are handled down by the court, or by the constitutional court. Uh, and you, you see that uh, the, 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 the claim is rejected by the court, then you, you, you understand that uh, the, the, the expectations of the courts are, are, are much lower than, than, than in, in, in ordinary situation. I would say as well that uh, it, it depends as well if the, the, the judges of the constitutional court uh, have been in power themselves uh, uh, during their active life, 
before being selected as a judge. They were faced um, to situations where um, uh, they had to make decisions, political decisions themselves. And I'm taking here the example of the French situation where uh, most of the our constitutional judges are coming from, from a political background. A number of them are lawyers, but not all of them. But if you look at um, the, the staffing of the uh, constitutional court at the moment, you have uh, two former prime minister, uh, two former speakers, everybody except two or three, um, usually women, which have not been uh, in, in very uh, high ranking position uh, in, in governments or in, in politics. Uh, these people are, are very reluctant to, to, to stop uh, the, the government because I do believe that they think we have been acting and we know it's difficult, so we don't want to be a pen in the ass uh, for, 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 for the government, if I can say so. Yeah. <laughs> so in a sense, uh, I think um, when you have a court which is staffed with um, uh, judges, with lawyers uh, that have never been in power, they will really try to 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 make uh, a reasonable implication of the constitution, but without integrating uh, political consideration. Uh, they, they are not stupid. They see the situation. They see how difficult it is, but they they, they will really try their best to to remain judges. When you have judges that have been in, into politics, it's difficult for them to forget what what they have been before. Well, for sure, for sure, we're in interesting times, and the real effects we won't see them right now. We'll see them in some years, and that's the importance of studying constitutional law in a broader, in a in a, in a really uh, high scope way. Mm -hmm. You have uh, only to finish. You have a lot of students, and I would like you to see and to mention, to give some messages and some counsel and some uh, ideas to these students during what's going on right now worldwide, because it's not a reality only in France or in Venezuela, yeah, United States, the constitutionalism have to be re-studied and rethinking, and we have to create a new constitutional culture. What are those messages to your and all the students of constitutional law? Well, I think that it's a it's an interesting question because uh, um, depending on the states in which you are, uh, the population can accept or uh, challenge uh, decisions that are made. Obviously, you will still have uh, a number of people who will say they are right, uh, they do what they want, but you can also have people thinking. Um, not only students. Well, I encourage obviously all um, law students or uh, students in, in politics to, 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 to take that into consideration and to study constitutionalism, just to be responsible citizens, not only, you know, practitioners, not only academics, but also responsible citizens, just by saying, no, uh, there are limits they can, cannot accept as a citizen because I'm living in a country which is ruled by the rule of law. Um, you want it or not, uh, there, there are boundaries you, 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 that you, you cannot go, go, go beyond. So uh, the, the, the message that I would like to, to, to transmit uh, is to say um, never too late uh, for, for learning what the constitution is and what constitution can do just to put some barriers uh, into uh, a, a, a space where uh, the political power has to act and they are usually elected for that. But at the same time, this is not something where uh, they have, uh, as I said earlier, a white check, a blank check to do what they want uh, and to transform uh, uh, their discretionary power into an arbitrary power. Arbitrary power means you, I do what I want. I don't have to uh, uh, give back uh, accounts of what I've done um, that's fine. Discretionary power seems that I am framed by the rule of law. I'm framed by the constitution and I'm free to do what I want into the framework of the constitution. And th this makes a, 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 a major difference 
uh, because at one stage, you know, uh, it's also a way after when it's time to set their accounts, when elections come, say, oh, hang on, uh, what you've done was going behind what you, 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 you were allowed to do. So now uh, the sanction will be made through the, the, the election. Well, provided elections are free and fair, obviously. Yes. Well, we know about it. Well, they have to be free and they have to be fair and they have to be justice and you have to be open to everyone to participate genuinely. Exactly. Philip, it's always a pleasure talking to you. I hope we have more talks like this and especially in person. We hope that soon we can see again. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. All the best for, for, for you and for Venezuela. Um, Thanks. And uh, I also hope we will be able to, to, to meet again physically quite soon. You will. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.